Hey YouTube, Neighbors here again. We're going to be talking today about the accelerator pump settings and what to look for and what to adjust or potentially adjust based on your issues. Let's go to number six, which is your probe tuning section. Then to number four, which is your Excel pump. I'm running offline, so I'm going to load up a default. Let's talk about these settings. Excel pump. The Excel pump is basically based on map, uh, and it is a slow reacting Excel. So smooth throttle inputs, such as, you know, driving down the road and just easing the throttle into it. This is where Excel pump is going to take effect. We're then going to look down at Fast Excel. Fast Excel is based on what's called Nmap. Nmap is a combination of RPM and TPS changes. When it gets high enough, that's when the Fast Excel kicks in. This is the fuel that shoots in quicker than Excel. So Excel is for slow pedal movement. Fast Excel is for quick pedal movement. So most people I find when they're trying to do wide open throttle hits um, and they're going a touch lean, uh, this is the setting you want to look at. However, for those um, models such as the Go EFI models, there's going to be two other values you're going to want to look at, especially if you're having an issue of, of lean to rich or just lean tip in as it's known. Um, and that is the TPS uh, gain and the TPS max. These values use the Excel, fast Excel, sorry, as the base. So the more you change these, the faster it'll affect it, but it all uses this as a base. So Excel gain is essentially a sensitivity to the pedal. The higher you set it, the more sensitive to pedal movement it will be. This reacts the fastest. Essentially in steps it goes, TPS gain is the quickest to react to pedal movement, fast Excel would be next, and then lastly will be Excel. Most people don't have many problems with, with smooth throttle movement. It's mostly with quick pedal hits, and that's where the combination of fast Excel fuel and TPS gain and max will actually help you out. If you find you're going quickly lean and then rich or just quickly lean tip in, you're gonna to wanna to play with both these values. So maybe bringing this up to 20 or 30 as a beginning point would be a start, but also looking at your gain and your max. The TPS max is essentially a percentage of fast Excel fuel that is being injected. Uh, this will go up to 200, as you can see here, 198. So 100 means it doesn't add additional fuel at all. 198 means it actually will add twice as much fuel as the fast Excel setting. Whereas accelerator TPS gain, that's essentially a sensitivity to pedal movement. The higher that value, the more sensitive to pedal movement it is. If you set it too high, you'll find that you're starting to get the accelerator pump shots happening too quickly and too often. Um, but don't worry, uh, as, as you can see in my model, which is the 600 horsepower model, it defaults at 109 and it goes all the way up to 300. I've had some people, I've had them go as high as 200. Um, not much more than that, but again, every individual engine is different. So looking at this value in combination with the fast Excel value can help you, especially if you're having lean tip in issues where the first cell or two in your logs look like they're going up and getting lean. The issue with lean tip in is the trim will then kick in and shoot a bunch of fuel in to try to overcompensate for the lean. And then you'll bog down into the 10 AFRs and go rich. Essentially what we're trying to do is to get enough fuel in quickly to avoid the lean tip in, which then as a result will avoid the rich bog that follows. So look at these values, try to understand them. The decays are typically not something you're gonna to wanna to play with that much. Um, decay is basically how long the fuel takes to shoot, not how much. If we adjust the decay up or down, we're adjusting how long it takes to adjust, to shoot this, the same amount of fuel. So.